Is that Chris? Now this is what's up, man. This is dope. This is how real man handle their problems. Now I ain't gonna lie. I'm just surprised y'all is. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Jay here, man. Back up with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got a crazy and a little wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got NBA Youngboy back on the roster again, man. And Jay Prince on the roster. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Youngboy been on the roster a lot lately. He went on a whole little spree, y'all. Well, he went on the roster for a while, but he been on it back to back. Now, it seems like um, NBA Youngboy and Jay Prince have met up face to face. And Birdman, and it seems like they settled their differences, and he actually got on the phone with Drake. Now, before we get into this crazy video and break down everything, the first thing I'm gonna ask y'all to do real quick, man, is to hit that like button, bruh, and smash that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I drop a video, bruh. And I can just also keep y'all updated on this situation, and y'all can just be notified anytime I drop a video. Now, I'm gonna give y'all time to click that button, man. Y'all got me? I bet. Now, basically, what we got going on, as I said, y'all, we got Baton Rouge rapper NBA Youngboy back on the roster, and it seems like him and Jay Prince has met up. Now, if y'all don't know what's going on, just y'all a quick little backstory. NBA Youngboy and Jay Prince haven't been seeing out of eye really since 2020. It all started back when um, they broke into NBA Youngboy car back in um, Houston, Texas, and Jay Prince was on the internet trying to say that he got Youngboy keys and told him to come get him, and put it on the internet, and Youngboy had this to say to him. In regards to what you know, saying the video Jay Prince put up previous. I don't want no friends. I don't want no new relationships. All that pussy. Hey, I don't respect none of that shit, man. If you got something for me, man, they got plenty of around me. You could call. Man, it's plenty. It's plenty ways you could get in touch with me. Man, don't get on no internet and do nothing publicly. Don't do nothing dealing with with no publicity. None of that. And I'm good on the, I'm good on the keys, gangster. When you buy some cash, two two keys come with the car anyway. Mind your business, man. Now, as y'all seen, young boy wasn't really rocking with Jay Prince due to the fact that he felt like you know he could have just easily called him versus trying to put it on the internet and make it look like you're doing something. And ever since then, he just really never fooled with Jay Prince. Now, if y'all don't know, young boy dropped a song called "F the Industry" and he dissed everybody. And one of the people that he dissed on there was Drake, which was very surprising. Like a lot of us, like, what you dissing Drake for? And he even dissed J. Cole, which I didn't understand. But not only did he diss J. Cole and Drake, he also dissed um, J. Prince also. So you shit to me. Fought the Drake cross FaceTime. He wasn't feeling me. Told me that he fuck with Drake. Damn, this shit getting me. Told me that he liked the shit I'm doing, but can't do shit with me. So when we cross, always what you say. You my enemy. That go as J. Prince, I see you dead. I ain't worried, nigga. I got stoner with me. And bitch, I got feet that's good money with me. That as y'all seen, young boy was not rocking with nobody. He said, you know, that he was with Birdman. And, you know, he said that, you know, um, Drake is his enemy now. And, you know, he wasn't really rocking with him now. Pretty much, J Prince put up this picture today. And as you see, it's NBA young boy with Birdman and J Prince. Now, um, he put up a picture. Um, and the caption was, as you all can see, I had a good time kicking it with the homies in Utah on behalf of the little homie YB. Me and my brother Birdman were able to have a conversation face to face. We talked about the past, the present, and the future. But most importantly, we left each other with mutual respect moving forward. Even though I wasn't there for a meeting with Birdman, I must say the Lord works in mysterious ways. With that being said, I must address the song where my name and Drake's name were mentioned. To the little homie, as I said to you privately, and I said to you publicly that Drake is my son. He rolled with me. Therefore, I think it's a good idea to take him off your enemy list because the truth of the matter is that we got nothing but love for Drake and your accomplishments. When I put Drake on that FaceTime call with you, my intent was for y'all to move forward, not backwards. Two things we get every day is a chance and a choice. The choice we make determines our destination. Now, as y'all seen, man, you know, he pretty much said that, you know, they um, spoke about the situation face to face. And, you know, it's a mutual respect thing. Now... Now that I read that, it seems like actually when um, Youngboy said that, you know, he got on the phone with Drake and he said, you my enemy or whatever, that I guess I'm, I'm assuming that's what Jay Prince put him on the phone with. And I'm assuming things were good on FaceTime, but Youngboy went back and made that song. Now, a lot of people were saying that, you know, um, YB going to go back to this. And to be honest with you, I don't know. 
I will say that's good that you know he didn't do the internet games and go back and forth because that only make it worse. You know they actually went to Utah and to settle the situations. And to be honest with you, that's how everything or that's how it should always go. It should never get to a point to where you on social media bashing each other or putting them in songs. Or, you know, saying here enemy, especially if nobody ever did nothing to you. Now, um, I don't know how long this may last. Hopefully, you know that young boy them do get an understanding because there's nothing wrong with squashing beef or. You know what I'm saying? Speaking on the phone or, you know what I'm saying? Discussing your issues with somebody. They ain't always got to end with violence. Violence hurt, hurt. You know what I'm saying? It can easily just be a simple phone call because literally y'all know a lot of stuff in this world, bro. A lot of beef. A lot of people that lost their lives. It got something to do with pride, man. Uh, y'all be surprised how much a simple conversation can change things. Like a simple, you know what I'm saying? We ain't seen a simple little, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, just to see what's going on. Like a simple understanding. Like what's going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? Men, like men talk, men apologize, men forgive. Like it's not, it's not, that don't make you soft. You feel what I'm saying? But like I said, you know, that's good that they are doing that. And hopefully it don't get back to a point where they dissing each other. And I don't want nobody to get hurt behind no beef. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this and Drake want to move anyways. Like they should be able to rock with whoever they rock with, whether that's dirt, anybody. Just because you beefing with somebody don't mean I'm beefing with them. You know what I'm saying? Because me, like I told y'all, if I'm in that situation, dirt them, if I fool with dirt and young boy, you feel like I got to pick a side, I'm just... Just own myself from both of y'all, cause I don't want I don't want to have nothing to do with that. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna love both of y'all equally, regardless of what's going on. But give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all feel like this is valid? Do y'all feel like this is legit? Y'all feel like this is all for an image, or do y'all feel like sooner or later they're gonna be bad beef? Give me y'all thoughts and opinions. It's your boy Lucky J. Thank God for another day. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all more, man. Yeah, bro. I'm out.